Morgan Stanley has always been a really strong technology um, bank with a, a really strong tech team. Part of my role is keeping on top of any exchange upgrades, uh, new products that come online and new margin methodologies. What people don't realise is that the finance industry is completely dependent on technology. Uh, it's really a set of technology companies trying to battle with each other uh, to implement the best solutions, uh, to be more efficient than each other, to be faster. Markets have been getting faster for a long time and that's a real technology challenge. Um, we're down to the point where we're even looking at um, sitting as close as possible to an exchange. So we actually have um, systems where the client has a computer right next to our computer which is right next to the exchange's computer to minimise the amount of wiring between one and the other. At the moment in the technology industry there's this huge innovation around data. So whether it's like highly voluminous data that we get from equity trading or whether it's complex data from derivatives trading where we want something like a structured uh, or semi-structured database, like an object database, uh, that's, the, that's the interesting thing that's going on at the moment for us. I think one of the things I've always liked about my role here is that your customers are inside the same firm, so they're right there with you. So you get to go and talk to the people that are going to use your product to make it better. You don't get stuck into a predefined plan where we say this is how we said it had to be at the start of the year and this is what we have to develop. So you can iteratively design over and over again, maybe multiple times a day, and then see the results. It's much more um, agile, much more kind of cooperative. We can work with them, we can say, yeah, that seems like a good idea. And when we start to develop it, it doesn't seem like a good idea anymore. It seems much harder than we thought. We can go back and just say, hey, how about this instead? How about we do it this way? We have a wide variety of very complex technical projects and we also get exposure to financial instruments and the business, which for me is always challenging and you're, and you're always learning. I think one of the most insightful projects was the iPad one. Uh, working on a mobile environment with bankers doing uh, initial public offering. It was very exciting because being in a direct relationship with our bankers, calling us while they were on the roadshow, doing their work to ask us to improve the application and, and add more features was something that we don't really have into any other kind of technology uh, companies because we don't have this direct relationship with our client. Right, so we, we do take uh, lots of different degree disciplines. Um, most people are numerate, um, but we take engineers and mathematicians, we take traditional computer scientists or electronic engineers. Um, anybody who's dabbled with programming as part of their degree course or has done it as a hobby um, is, is showing the kind of interest that we're interested in. I think what we're mostly looking for is problem solving. Um, that ability to see something, break it down into its abstract concepts and just go, okay, I can solve this. You can pick up the finance knowledge. Um, certainly I had no finance knowledge at all when I joined the firm. It's not just programmers that we're looking for. We're looking for infrastructure specialists who can build buildings for us, who can deck them out with uh, telephone infrastructure, who can work out what the, the next generation of trading stations are going to look like. Uh, we also need um, people with business analysis skills so that um, you can interact with people and learn the language of the business and turn that into functional requirements. So uh, people with good soft skills, good language skills as well. Being on the technology graduate program, which is one of the most prestigious in the industry, actually prepares you for a full-time role in technology and gives you the training that you need to, um, to be able to tackle business problems. I definitely say to anyone joining the firm that they should just look forwards and step up and, and kind of have the bravery to just say, I can do that, I'll give it a try. I personally chose working for Morgan Stanley because I feel it's the perfect combination of business problem solving and uh, technology. I think I've always been to technology. Back then when I was 16 already, trying to touch my father's computer, crushing my father's computer. Um, and really I was been always something I was really into. Um, and then I realized then maybe I could do something else than just technology for technology. So I got offers from many different investment banks, but the, the reason that Morgan Stanley stood out was that during the interview process, the people I was talking to were incredibly smart, but also quite casual. Like we sat around on the desks between the interviews and just chatted. I think what appealed to me when I was here was mostly the people. So everybody I met seemed like people I'd like to be. Um, they seemed similar to me. They had the same kind of interests, um, problem solving and, and kind of making things work better than they did today. 
Um, everybody was really friendly. Um, not like I imagine from the movies where everybody's running around in a crazy state in the 80s with an enormous mobile phone. Um, but actually, uh, real people that I felt I would get along with. And I had a really good time on the day. Um, and that was really what sealed it for me to be Morgan Stanley. 